Chad, I got a Halloween costume. Are you ready to see it? Are you ready to see it? I dressed up as myself, a rat. Damn, how cool is this costume? Look at this. Look at this costume. Pork, Look at this costume. Man. Okay, Chad, listen, listen, listen. W -W -W. Listen, we had a problem. We had a problem. Yesterday, yesterday, we had a little Halloween gathering, okay? And everyone had really cool costumes on. But my costume was supposed to arrive yesterday, but it didn't arrive. It didn't arrive until 9 p.m. last night when everyone was already like there or leaving. So I just, bro, I was the only one not in a costume because the shit didn't arrive. So now I have to go pick up this package of my costume Pork, today and it's go, just man. not fucking there. Banger. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. So I got some fake blood and I put it here and I was like... I was like, well, that's the best thing I can do. I'm not gonna wear it now. I was gonna wear... It's... it's the, the, the outfit I chose was money heist. Money heist jumpsuit with the mask. Cause I thought that was really cool. But I didn't get it! I didn't get it in time! Also, oh, it was on Amazon, so it was the easiest one to find. I just looked on costumes or Amazon. Chat downstairs, man! What do you mean, wear it? Yeah, we had a we had a little party yesterday. It was really fun, pretty fun. Um, Otto Amne came to the to the party, and he had a he had a XL jersey on, and he had a thing that you clean yourself with. And he's like, "Guess what I'm dressed as?" I was like, "What the fuck are you on about?" He's like, "I'm dressed as myself. I'm washed." I was like, "You're so stupid." You're so stupid. He's such a fucking clown ass, that guy. He's such a clown ass. But um, one of our friends, uh, Patrick, he does uh, producing for the LEC, Patrick Halliday. He he had like the he had like a white shirt on with like turkey, and he had like the gun, like a play gun. That was a mega good outfit. Oh my god. You know that what was that turkey turkey guy with the guy when rocked up to the Olympics with the gun and then just one pop? That was a good outfit. Though. That was a good one. That was fun. That was fun. So we gotta go through some news today, chat. Some big news is happening. Some big news. Disguise Toast's team is joining the LCS. They're joining the LCS. So they're going from NACL to the LCS. Which is super awesome for the LCS fans and NA fans and stuff. Like, Disguise Toast being there is massive. That's massive. Disguise Toast tweeted, um... He tweeted... Wait, hold up. Let me find his Twitter account. Disguise Toast. <laughs> he tweeted, Hey, Faker. <laughs> and then Joe Marsh said, No. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, Disguise Toast team's coming to the uh, LCS or the, or the North... The North... America's North League. I know America... The American Northern Conference. Is that what it's called? The America's Northern Conference? What is it? The NAC? Is that what it's become now instead of the LCS? If I type in NAC, it says the African National Congress. Is it the NAC? Or is it still going to be called the LCS? But wait. WAIT! Does that mean that the South one is the A A S C? And if you re-spell it, it says SAC? Your brain is cooked? What am I about that? It's NAC. Well, this says America's North Conference. So then it's gonna be the North America's Conference. But then if it's that, then the South one is the SAC! Wait, I was right! So, wait, is it going to be the NAC and the SAC? Is that what it's going to become? I wonder what they're going to call it. I really want to know what the name is. Um, 100 Thieves is becoming the guest provisional team of the LCS, which basically means they're no longer a franchise partner. It changes its partnership status, and it means that if they lose, then they get knocked out of LCS, and if they win, they stay in, which uh, they agreed with Riot Games that they're like kind of pulling out a little bit. Wait, this ten this technician is ambiguous and it's undecided what will happen with their spot in 2026. However, unlike the SG, the first ever NASCL guest team, they will not have to play in the promotion tournament at the end of the year. Oh, okay. 
Wait, I don't know what they're doing then. But it sounds like they're taking a step back because it says it remains unclear whether 100 Thieves will stay in the league past 2025. So I guess they're contemplating. I mean, maybe they go back. Maybe they, maybe they go do, this, do the hoodies thing. The hoodies. Do they still make hoodies? Do they still make hoodies? The, the 100 Thieves hoodies went kind of hard. Jojo Pune's full off-season from FlyQuest top lane to 100 Thieves roll swap. What? He had roll swap offers in the LCS. Reunion with Inspired on FlyQuest to go top lane. And join quad. What? They were consider interested in picking him up as a top laner in the place of Bwipo. Why? Last year, Liv Sandbox made an unprecedented offer to hope sign the LCK's first ever North American player. Damn. Yo, Jojo Pina had offers. They had offers. Jun is going to Giant XPP. So we got Jackie's Noah Jun. This Giant X roster is shaping up to be a big one. Actually could be a title contending roster. If Jackie's is, is, is the chosen one and they have Noah Jun, I think they're already like top three if they get a good top jungle. But that's if they get a good top jungle. If. I really wonder who you can get for jungle now. They have Lot top lane. Yeah, there's a rumor that Lot is going to be the top laner, but they can't get Lot because Lot's Korean, isn't he? And they already have a Korean bot lane. So their import slots are taken. So the lot is not going to join. But I've heard that name thrown around a lot. Okay. Excuse my pun. Oh, wait. He's not Korean. Wait, he's Emiya. He's Turkish. Why did I think he was Korean? Lot. But yeah, I've seen this guy's name thrown around a lot. Apparently, he's really good. Apparently, this guy's really good. I think he will be the new top laner, maybe. I don't know why I thought he was Korean. Oh yeah, he can definitely join then. He can definitely join. Is his name Lot or is it L-O-T? I don't get it. Is it Lot or L-O-T? How do you say it? It's Lot. Okay, well everyone's just writing Lot. Right? With your fucking rats. Is it spelled or said? Who do they get for jungle then? You have Lot and Jackies, which could be turbo solo lanes. Noah Jun, who do you get for jungle? They're getting closer. Yankos. I don't think they'll get Yankos. I think Yankos is way too expensive, probably. Probably not worth. Closer? Yeah, maybe they get closer. I think closer was decent on K Corp. <gasps> no, they can't get Kanavi. Now they can't get Yike. I mean, I'm cheap. Listen, I'll pay for fucking five euros and a McDonald's breakfast on the daily. Lock me in. Lock me in. What junglers are there that don't have a team? What junglers are there in EU? Ekas. Ekas. Cersei. Bo. And yeah, they won't get Bo. Yeah, I guess their option is mainly Yankos, but... I mean, if they sign Yankos, I doubt they're gonna splash too hard for him. Oh, yeah, okay, there's... No, Daglas is on Vitality, right? Oh, yeah, Marcoon, Marcoon. Nah, there's no way they're gonna get Marcoon. He's in NFL. Mm. Trimby's going to Brazil. Trimby's going to Key... Uh, Vivo Keyed. Trimby's going to the SAC, the SAC... South American Conference, the SAC. I guess that's where Shumi's going. Which is fun. Over in Brazil, Vivo Keat, East Star, the team finished first seed in both 2024 CB Lol split one and two regular season, but only go as far as second place in the playoffs. They field. Oh, wait, that's the team with XD Smiley. Oh, yeah. Oh, big pickup. Huh? They have EU bot lane then. They have, they have EU bot lane. They have EU bot lane. Rainbow Seven are going to be one of the teams that represent uh, in the NAC, not the SAC. Smiley's out. What the fuck, really? So the NAC is going to have uh, Rainbow Seven Movistar, which is awesome. If you think about it, the NAC now has Rainbow Seven and Disguise Toast's team, which is pretty good news. Wait, how many teams are left, chat? Wait, how many teams are in the, in the NAC? Is it eight or ten? It's eight, right? It's eight, one LLA. 
one promotion, which is 100 T's, and then six teams, right? But if the Sky's Toast team's coming in, who are they replacing? Did they buy a slot or are they just giving it for fun? IMT and NRG are out. So what does that leave us with? We got C9s, TLs, Flies, Digs, Disguise Toast, and, and, NRG? No. Oh yeah, Shopify. With 100 T's and R7. Did Disguise Toast buy into the LCS? I'm confused. No. They got the promotion slot. I, I, okay, I'm confused then. If they got given the promotion slot and promoted, then what did 100 Thieves do if they became the provisional guest? I thought there was only one promotion slot. Wait. Okay, hold up. I understand. Okay, so maybe I, my point here is there's eight teams that have paid to play in the LCS. And two of them just lost their spot. How, they, no one bought the spot from them. How did they make money on the spot? Where, where did... Did Riot buy them out of the franchise or some shit? I don't get it. Did they just give it over for fun? I don't understand. How does that work? Surely you can't just leave or you can't just... Who pays for it? Who pays for it? 100 Thieves gave up t franchising. Yeah, 100 Thieves also gave up franchising. So that means there's five teams in franchising? No, we have five because Disguise Toast is a guest team. You bought it? Oh, okay. You bought it? My chat bought it? Good job, chat. Paid, it's worth nothing. <laughs> I think it is worth a bit, no? LCK Fearless Draft. I found out that LCK's Fearless Draft don't reset a game 5 like LPL, so you're, you're telling me that nearly one third of the champion pools are gone when we banning game 5. Fucking imagine 40 champs out having to pick another 10, ban the other 10 in game 5. This cup's gonna be fucking mad. This mid lane is going to be a shit show. I can't imagine how pick players like Lens will pick something brain dead and fun. Oh my god, they're doing hardcore fearless. Oh my god, they're doing the LCK CL format. They're doing hardcore fearless. Damn. So in game one, you'll get five picks, five bands each. In game two, you'll have five picks, five bands, but it'll be 10 bands from the last game. Then you have five picks, five bands, and then it'll be 20 champs bands from the last game. Fifth game doesn't reset. So you get to the fifth game, there's 40 champions gone. Plus you have five bands each. Plus you have to pick your champs. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Bro, absolutely cooked in the head. I remember doing this versus LS once. Wait, hold up. LS Cage will Fearless Draft. We did this once. I don't remember where it was though. Oh yeah. Bro, I was mega cooked by the time I got to the fifth game. Because you just did loads of drafts. Ban. I'll ban. Why are you saying way too denkies? Is... And then we did draft here, um, draft here. Um, and then we got to the fifth I'll pick, draft. Uh, I'll pick yeah, Gwyn. sure. I'll pick Gwyn. Gwyn. Ben Zareth. Uh, and then I had to check what I'll was Ben. Okay, I'll ban Samira. Obviously, I was against LS, so of course I gotta drop the Alawi Ben. I'll first pick Rumble. Jesus Christ. Game I five, Kajo gets Rumble. Ari. Varus. Okay, I will take. Um, it was Kiana hard, Kaiser. man. I'll take Sedge. Kiana, bro. When was this? Two years yep. ago. And then I'll ban. Uh, I'll ban Nautilus. Okay. Yeah, oh, I mean, I mean, everything's completely cooked. I'll ban Shen. I think Shen is upright. LS LSR Ford Rennington, by the way. He did that. He did that. And. Um... Mundo's banned. You actually banned Mundo. He did that. This is Can so we... brutal. Uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna unironic like we we're we're in the depths, dude. We're we're in we're in the depths. Holy <laughs> screenshot it! He picked he picked Rennington. Is it is it is uh, is it is it R five Nidalee? Sorry. R five Nidalee. No. I had to blind pick uh, zillion support. Get off. I think... Talia. Yeah. Okay, my bro, I have nothing left, man. There's 40 champions banned. Yeah, my, my um, Kiana is jungle. My Rumble is mid. My Volibear is top. 
Okay. I have to flex rumble mid. My, my Talia's jungle and then Renekton. Yeah. It's weird, bro. The drafts were so weird. It was a fun game, though. Uh, you don't have much. <laughs> you can. I think you can guess whose draft is whose if I show you. Like, if I show you a draft, you can probably guess whose draft is whose. Like, for example, which one do you think's mine? And which one do you think's LS's? <laughs> it's like... I think you can see our contrast in the styles where we approach drafts right there. He's playing Bard Sona, Bard Sona Senna. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I was, I was thinking about R1, R2 on it, but... Yeah, this game he... I pick okay. Rakan and then he 1-2's okay, yeah, Kog'Maw so... Janna. Okay, I was, I was thinking about R1, R2 on it, but yeah. Uh, I'll take Swain. I'll ban Tristana. I'll mm -hmm. ban... Um... It was Spicy? super complicated. I actually don't know modern version of Darius uh, versus Camille. I don't know mm. the modern version. I believe that Ross But he was doing so many random things. It was crazy. He would like put Fine? random champs in mid and support but and jungle. I and I was like, oh my god. How hard this is? Like he's flexing everything everywhere. Wait, we're doing five. So like, I didn't... Wait, which one was his jungler in this game? Modern version. I believe that Rost is fine. But I... Don't want to pick him. So much magic damage. No, I'll just go. I'll go Trendomir. Yeah, Trendomir. Okay, okay. Wait, we're doing five? <laughs> yeah. Bro, fearless draft. Anyway, TLDR, fearless draft when he gets a fifth game is complete madness. It is absolute madness. Fun facts of T1 versus BLG. T1 has never lost the best five against LPL team of the worlds. Whoever beat Gen G in world semifinals won worlds. Samsung White, Samsung Blue, EDG, DRX. LSK always won worlds and Peanuts the worlds. Chinese mid laners have never won worlds. World champions were war black pants. Okay, bro. What did they do? Did they brush their teeth with their left hand as well? Like, what the fuck are you on about there? T1's 11 lost to BLG in Worlds. BLG never lost the best of five against an LCK team. They're 2-0. Since 2020, the team that lost on the side selection coin toss in the finals won Worlds. LPL always won Worlds whenever JDG was not in Worlds. No top laner has won Worlds twice as a starter. LPL summer split champs in Worlds finals win rate is 100%. BLG never lost the T1 in best of five. Okay, fun facts. True, you're right. You're right. Fun facts. This is my biased tier list, Cadrill one month ago. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. He hit the nail. Bro, I win those. Just know I win those, okay? You can say carrier Mickey X over carrier, but just know that I just know that I win those, okay? Yes, I put Damon to win worlds. Okay. F flash T1, D flash BLG. Oh shit, wait, all five of them. Actually on both sides. But everyone knows D is for Dlash. Like, how stupid is everyone? We saw that November 2nd, 2024, Cage will coach him the world's finals and could reach another significant milestone for him and the Rats. Yeah, we're 2k followers away from 1 milli. That'd be crazy if we hit that on the world's final stream. Is my t shirt broken? No, it's not. Uh. Lil bro followed the wrong account. No, I didn't follow the wrong account. I said this. This motherfucker has the Twitter handle that I want, and I'm trying to get it back from him, but he's not replying because all he did about tweet about pizzas in 2019. Fucking fuck. Sh oh, Carrier. Win rate of Pike in Korean solo queue after semis. Oh my god. It was, it was here, right? And the win rate fucking dropped. T1 fans when Faker is 2 0 over BLG and about to win his fifth title, but then Zeka shows up on stage with a shield chair. Genji, Bang, and Ruler duo almost happened when Bang came to NA. What? Was Ruler gonna roll swap to support? Oh no, Bang was gonna roll swap to support for Ruler. Really? We could have had an NA bot lane of Ruler and Bang? What? Oh, I see. When Bang was getting offers from LCK teams and left NA, one of the teams was to be a support at Genji with Ruler as AD carry. I think Bang would have been a good support. But it's crazy how everyone just roll swaps the support when they're washed in their own role. <laughs> I just find that funny. It's like, well, I got gapped in mid. Looks at his support. <laughs> You're my target now. <laughs> I will replace you. Like, I think Perks, for example, would be an oh, insanely good go, support. Man. Instead of Uma Jan, we could it's have Jan Uma on, in support. Bro. He would be a good support, I think. What is this? 
Welcome to the League of Legends Championship of the Americas. Hello the esports LTA. fans and welcome to the League of Legends Championship of the Americas, also known as the LTA, League of the Americas. LTA. The LTA is the next step in the evolution for Brazil, Latin America and North America as the three regions combine into one Americas League for 2025 and beyond. What's your LTA? Let's What's get your the LTA? And its conferences. Ooh. The LTA is made up of two conferences playing in front of live audiences in the Riot Games arenas. The North competing in Los Angeles and the South competing in Sao Paulo. The North will be made up of Cloud9, Team Liquid Honda, FlyQuest, Shopify Rebellion and Digintas as partner teams coming from the LCS. 100 Thieves is a provisional guest team, Lion Gaming is a partner team coming from the LLA and disguised as a guest team for season 2020. So it wasn't Rainbow 7, it's Leon Gaming. Five, joining from the NACL. The South will be made up of Fluxo. This guy is this big though. Fudia, Loud. This guy is Gaming, super big. Red Canids and Vivo Kid Stars as partner teams coming from the CB LOL. Leviathan as a partner team coming from the LLA. And Isaris as a guest team for season 2025, joining from the LLA. So Movistar Rainbow 7 GG or what? Each team will have a home region for residency rules, but we're adding flexibility by allowing one player from anywhere in the Americas to be considered a local resident, giving players the chance to compete across region. To protect regional identity, the majority of players cannot be from outside their home region. These teams will be competing across R7 combined with the other team build across gaming. the year, oh, okay. played on live patch. The formats are identical for both conferences. Split 1 is America's qualifier for the new international event and all about hype. New season, new rivalries, and new formats. Teams will start within their own conference in a double elimination, best of three, full fearless tournament until the top four are selected. In 2025, the top four from the North will fly down to Brazil to battle the South in a single elimination top eight, best of three, full fearless tournament. The finals will be a best of five, and the winner goes to the new international One event. best of five. Split two is all about learning and improvement within their own conference. Teams play double round robin best of ones. Playoffs will be a top six best of five double elimination bracket. The winner of each conference will be crowned conference champions and LTA representatives at MSI. Split 3 is an all new, never before seen league format we are calling the pick and play system, where at the end of the week, teams will make selections of opponents for the next week live on stage. The focus is on competition and teams calling their shot. What? Here's how it works. Week 1 will have best of 3s based on Split 2's rankings. At the end of the week, teams with the lowest match and game records will choose opponents with better records. You can't challenge someone you already played before, and split two standings work as tiebreakers. This forces mm. teams to always pick a better opponent to prove themselves against. After week three, we enter the elimination stage. The bottom four teams fight to stay alive while top teams are safe. Here, the selection flips, so the teams with the better record That's will cool. pick their opponent from these groupings. This is really At the dang. end of week six, only three teams will be left standings. The top three Southern teams will fly to the North to compete in the Americas Regional Championship. All six teams will be battling for the first ever LTA trophy. The top seed from each conference is already qualified to world, while the others will fight for the last world seed. Okay. The two Americas playoffs will flip every year. So in 2025, split one will happen in Brazil and the Americas Regional Championship will be held in North America. This means in 2026, split one will be in NA, and Split 3 will be in Brazil. And our vision for the following years is to take our shows in front of fans in all three regions. There will also be in-person viewing opportunities for fans when the finals are in the other conference. Bro, that should make During the dizzy. year, there will be four Tier 2 leagues competing in two splits. In order to keep the path to Pro open, guests must always defend their position at the end of the year. Stay tuned to the EsportsCom website. So basically, Split 1 is a top four double limb best of three uh top eight sorry so so eight teams from each team place and the top four from each go into a double limb um so you you have eight teams right they play in um actually it's a single limb so it's eight teams single elimination the top oh no it's double limb sorry yeah sorry it's double limb i'm crazy so it's eight teams from each conference play double limb best of threes fearless draft 
the winners of the top four from NA fly to play against the top four from South America. Then they get seeded against each other in a best of three single elimination playoff bracket where uh, the, only the finals is best of five. Then you go to double round robin best of one, which and then a top six to best of five double in playoffs, which is basically spring and summer split for LCS. It's just best of ones into a double in best of five. Or no. Yeah, double in best of five. Then the third split is basically you can pick who you play, but I think the loser match and game records will choose opponents with better can the loser picks, I think. Sounds like the losing the teams can pick. You can't challenge someone you already played before, and split two standings work as tiebreakers. This forces teams to always pick a you can't play someone better you opponent against. to prove themselves against. After week three, we enter the elimination stage. The bottom four teams fight to stay alive, while top teams are safe. Here, the selection okay. flips. I don't really the understand it, actually, even though I've read it a few times. I think it needs more details. It looks like the losers can play the winners or teams with better scores than them. They can choose them and they can choose teams with the same score, but you can't choose people you already played. And then the bottom four go into a double, go into a best of three against each other to eliminate. And the top four go to playoffs, I think. Selection flips. So the teams with the better record will pick their opponent from these groupings. At the end of week six, only three teams will be left standing. I really don't get this. Bottom four, based on record, loses eliminated, two best of threes. Bottom four, on record, loses eliminated, two best of threes. Top four, based on team record, two best of threes. Oh, so the pick thing continues. So the highest seed team can pick, then the third team can pick a team to play in the top four. Then the lower teams with higher seeding can pick the lower teams in a best of three. Then the winners go on to play against each other, which gets them to Worlds. And then if you lose, you fall down here to go to Elimination Series. But this is in week six, so where's the finals? Oh, there is no finals. Wait, they have no domestic finals in each conference because they have to play against each other to be the conference champion. The top three Southern teams will... And then they go top three Southern and top Black three NA. Off, Go against each other in the American double Regional championship. Best of five. I see. That's when you crown a champion. So I think that the way it works in the conferences is the NA conference and the South American conference. Each spot gets a world spot. So essentially what you're playing for in week six is a world spot. And then that's your NA representative and your SA representative. Then the third spot from these conferences comes from the cross conference play where you get another spot. Well, if you're obviously, if you're already qualified to the NA spot or the South American spot, then it would be the highest seed, I would presume. So you have domestic play, which doesn't crown a champion. It just crowns a world's qualifying team. And then the three teams seeded go to play against the top three teams from the South America. And the, the format's the exact same. This pick and play thing, I don't really get it. Looks like you can pick and play here as well and then yeah they've cooked a bit hard <laughs>